Today we're doing coving, which is the stuff you put up there. I think it's called coving in uh, the UK anyway. So I've got a few things. I have actual coving, which helps. And then I have a COVID mitre thing. I think it's just called a COVID mitre. And the way it works is you align it. So if I want to cut a right hand corner, so let's assume I want to put a piece up there, which is the right hand corner. I'll use the, the left hand edge. And you can see it actually, this bit is uh, beveled or whatever you want to call it, which means that the cut goes at an angle. And then you put that six mil from the end. And if you kind of align it, you can see that by being six mil from the edge, it will hit the bottom corner there. And in theory, it should create a nice connection. Mm, yeah, I've, I've done a test piece and that didn't go so well, but I'm, I've switched the implements to a saw and that, that might work better. So this one is the piece that goes up there. And then I've marked 83 mil on the wall and the ceiling, which you can see little tiny marks there, and then a tiny mark there, tiny. And then, in theory, I should be able to then offer it, which is the term that's used. I will offer it to the wall and ceiling, and I'll put adhesive underneath. But I'm not going to do that until I've cut the right hand corner, which is what I'm going to do next. But I've broken my tripod, so um, I'll do that offline. Right, I've cut that. I've done the mitre cut. I've got Super Cove adhesive. I'm just going to stick a bead on both bits. Uh, also, no, I didn't know this. There's an upside and downside to, normally to coving. I can't really see a difference, so maybe it differs by brand, but I've made sure that from the pack, the same way is at least consistent, whether or not it's actually the up bit or not, I don't know. But let's put some beading on. I'm going to do the long bit first, stick that into place, and then I'll jiggle in the um, smaller piece. So I think 6mm from the edge is where I should do it. Supposed to be a three mil bead. Pretty sure I'm doing more than that. What's in there? Oh. Right, there we go. Adjust the angle. Stick it in the middle. Right, so the bead's gonna go, so the coding's gonna go all the way up there. Right. I marked up, and the corner's gone there. This is when I accidentally probably touched the wall. I've made some markings on the Probably when you need two people. <sighs> this doesn't feel right.
I hope that small one is thick, probably because it's attaching to plastic, which it probably doesn't like. I'll put a plastic trim above that, but it doesn't seem to like it. Screw. Disaster. Right, so what I did wrong is the plastic trim I put above the door, I used adhesive. Same adhesive I'm using on the coating. Um, and cured, so it's not sticking. So let's see if I can. Beautiful. Right, stick one more in there. Maybe two, three, let's make it three. some Swedish swear words right now. Right, stick some more sealant on of it just in case it can grip there. Intent. <laughs> I kind of love it when things go wrong. I don't know why. But I kind of do. Oh, shh. I don't like it when it goes that wrong, though. I don't want that adhesive on the nail. can help it. Oh, again. Okay, let's see. No idea how long I'm only supposed to hold it. Let's 
I can see all my plastering sins now because the wall's not flat. Am I going to have to stick a screw in there? I think I have to. I'll stick a screw in there and I can always cover that up, probably. Breaking the law. Boom, boom, breaking the law. Beautiful. Easy. Let's take another few in actually. Because that seemed to work. <laughs> oh. Good. Well, I might as well stick one here as well. Because why not? Kind of worked. Right, uh, next coloring. So, screwing, so the, uh, screwing in, using screws on, um, so this isn't plaster coloring, it's foam, whatever it's called. It burns well, so that's not good. Um, I'm using the coving because <laughs> I'm a terrible plasterer and the bits around the um, where the ceiling meets the, the walls looks terrible. So this is to cover up my sins, which is probably why they were invented in the first place. Okay, I have somewhere here. This is the uh, coving that's going to go up. Let me switch you around. So that's what it looks like. The <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible mitering I did. But I can live with it. So then that covers that and there's a gap. And then I need to do that piece. And then I need to do that piece. It's taking a long time. Um, so this is the... <laughs> Screws in the coffin. Oh, but it works. So uh, yeah, whatever. I'm fine. I'm happy with it. That's it. Let's do some more. Um, let's do some more. Right, time to do that coving. Let's apply some stuff. Piece of. You see that? We can't see that. Sorry, this is off camera. I'm completely overdoing it on the adhesive. Maybe there's a good reason not to do it. But I've got three tubs, so uh, I'm going for it. And... Oh, idiot. Why does this look wrong?
put some more on see that. We'll stick some screws in because it doesn't want to attach. Oh. There's good reason for that. But not wanting to attach. Oh shoot. Oh. Slightly concerned about. Please don't fall down. This is just to get clean for. with my measurements, the markings I made on the wall, they didn't look right. The 83 down. Project bodge means you're doing something, you're fixing something you've messed up, but not in a good way. And here's another bodge. Oh, for fuck this damn man. Please forgive me, professionals, if anyone ever watches this. Awful way of doing it, but it works. Um, it's not sticking. Why is it not sticking? Why is it not sticking? Right, that's good enough. Looks better than the horrendous corners or ceiling where it where meets the ceiling. I'm mumbling, sorry. Gonna go over. So that's the one I just did there, which looks absolutely awful. I think I must have got the angles wrong. Oh, it's because it's. <laughs> Um, I just figured out why it's looking a bit strange. So that corner there is taller than that corner. So that's why it's that's why it's not boxing up perfectly. I think that's my excuse anyway. Right, we do the last one. Um, I haven't got anything to stick the camera on, so I'll just do that offline. Coving is now done. So this is the right hand side of the office. So you can see the I've filled in the screws. That one's pretty poorly done to be honest. I might need to redo that. Um, so it should be covered and then the corners filled in as well. And then have a look in the other. Well, I can't actually look in the other office because it's dark and there's no light. 
So same story there, exactly the same thing. So that completes carving. The next thing to do is the thing you put where the floor meets the wall. I have a skirting board. Skirting board is what I'm getting. It's going to, going to be grey uh, PVC um, skirting board, which means it shouldn't discolour. And if we do spill water, which will happen in the office coffee, probably, um, the skirting board won't swell. So that's good. I haven't got a delivery date for that. So we might just move into the office and then um, wait for the skirting board to arrive. But yeah, we're, uh, we're getting there. It's, well, it's basically, I just need to tidy up and uh, move desks in. Actually, I need to do one last bit of painting um, to cover up the, the skirting board, or, or paint the skirting board, I should say. And I need to do a bead of corking on the skirting board where it meets the wall and the ceiling as well. So, corking, one last spray paint, move in and probably put the skirting board afterwards. That's it. It's now Wednesday, 9pm and it's time for a hot chocolate. Yes.